Okay, so we don't actually have a workflow um, for <coughs> replacing these bearings. Um, but what you will need out of your kit is the two millimeter and the two and a half millimeter uh, Allen wrenches and the snap ring pliers um, that we use for a spanner wrench. So there are four sets, I'm sorry, three sets of four bearings, uh, one on the head and then one on each end of the gantry. And these plates, these mounting brackets, uh, are pretty much identical. There are two fixed bearings with no adjustment and then there are two adjustable bearings uh, because the shoulder bolt goes through to this eccentric cam and that's what uh, allows adjustment for the bottom set of bearings. So I think you can do this while it's all together. Uh, while you're messing around with these, especially this one uh, and the one over here uh, to the left, make sure that your sensor flag doesn't get bent or out of whack. They can move around a little bit. Uh, turn the machine off and slowly push the head over. And uh, let me zoom back out for a minute. Push the head over and make sure that that sensor flag goes between the optical sensor towers here and doesn't actually hit the sensor. Make sure it's in alignment after you get done. Otherwise, it could crash that. So that's something to take into account. So. I believe the best way to do this is going to be to loosen up the eccentric cams. Get the set screws backed out a little bit so they don't score the inside. And uh, we're going to loosen those up by twisting them counterclockwise. Now you can see we have quite a bit of play on the head now. That should give us enough clearance. So I'm going to start with the fixed bearings. And I'm going to remove the shoulder bolt. I think you can probably do these one at a time and try to kind of keep everything together. You may have to, uh, yeah, there we go. We'll pull that one out. a little bit longer than I thought. Okay, so here is what we end up with. We have the bearing, the shoulder bolt, and if you notice the bearing has a shoulder on it and that goes toward the plate. So I would just replace them one at a time and uh, reinstall the fixed one. And be careful and not damage this uh, stainless steel rod, this steel insert. I think it's probably best before you tighten it down. It may be hard to see from that angle. Uh, to get the bearing, the U-groove, on that first. So slide it down. Yeah, that's the way to do it. I don't know if you can see that. Um, you want to make sure the bearing sits on there and then put the shoulder bolt in and that way it'll stay where it needs to. I'll demonstrate on the other fixed one on the top and uh, tighten that one up. Now I'm going to do the same thing over here. Those things are on there pretty good. I have to break it loose first. Wow, it's twisting my wrench. Those are on too tight. Those are on way too tight. Look at that, it just bent my wrench. So that's something you may come, come into contact with. You'll just have to work through that part. Now, on the bottom ones, since they have this eccentric cam on them, I would highly recommend that you break them loose. That one's already loose. Uh, but I would highly recommend, and you may even want to remove your head to make it a little easier, uh, holding this in place and backing this up with this wrench 
when you tighten them down and not use the set screw because if you use the set screw and then tighten that up if you put too much force on it you're going to cause that cam to turn anyway and it's going to score the inside of this uh, where that set screw is supposed to sit and it may uh, cause some issues so you definitely don't want that to happen uh, but I would do the fixed ones first one at a time and then I would do the ones that are adjustable and then after you get them uh, back on then just uh, snug them back up and you can do that by I think these are already loose yeah you'll just want to turn these it's still a little tight feeling I think let's loosen that up a little more you'll want to turn these until you meet some resistance you don't want a lot and go ahead and adjust both of them get them where you need them and you want them where you get good movement but there's no play here whatsoever and you also don't want to be able to manually turn these just by using your thumb like this at the top now if you press real hard you might get a little bit and that's fine you don't want to over tighten these you'll strain the whole system so you may have to play with uh, fine-tuning how tight these are and you can actually see the head move and get a feel for it and uh, you'll just let's see there it got loose again you just want just enough to snug it up so that you don't have any any play this way no play that way and that feels pretty good and then you'll tighten your set screws back down on the adjustment cam and it's back in place and you'll just repeat that process on the other two plates alright hope that helps good luck uh, give me a shout if you need me thanks